What's going on everybody? This is RF Mike and tonight we are going to be taking a look at the old Chromecast app versus the new updated Chromecast. As you can see right away off the right on the home screen is the Chromecast application does have a new icon on the LG G4 versus the original Chromecast icon on the HTC One M8. We will look at the M8 first. So we'll open up the old Chromecast app, searching for your nearby device. Shows my living room with the pin number for people that want to connect that don't are not on my Wi-Fi. We hit that settings icon, brings you up to your device info about that device in the living room. Background drop is on, backdrop's on, guest mode, what Wi-Fi it's connected to, mountain time, language, privacy, and information. And then if we pull out the hamburger menu or the side panel, we can see devices, discover apps, learn, and help and feedback. And of course your Google account you have it connected to. And that is about it. That is all the original Chromecast app offered. And yeah, you had the ability to do Google Photos, View Photos, um, do a couple other, see now it's showing you shots of this is from the Netherlands. This would be what would be on the TV downstairs if the Chromecast, uh, if the TV was switched over to that channel. But that was about it. That's all you could really do from the Chromecast app, the original one, including the uh, biggest thing would be screencast, where you could cast your phone's display, mirror, exactly what you're doing on your phone on the TV. But with Google's press event that they just had, and they had announced that they have remade the Chromecast app and they've created two new Chromecast devices. The Chromecast app was due for a uh, refresh and in a big way they did so. So we'll open it up. You're greeted with a new splash screen. And welcome to the new Chromecast app. Make the most out of your Chromecast. Next find stuff to watch, control your device, find new cast apps. So if you don't get the hint just from these slides, the new Chromecast has been made into more of like a Google Play Store that is for the Chromecast itself. So as we open it up and it loads up, it'll show you what's popular and what's uh, new on YouTube. You can scroll through, check out what's going on. And most of the time it's only going to show you um, applications and things that are on your device right now. So as you can see, it shows what apps, your TVs, movies, and other apps that are on the phone right now that can support and use the Chromecast. And then Google Music. I myself, for music apps, mu your music and other uh, and audio apps, I don't use Pandora or Spotify or any of the other ones that are out there, but they are available now, especially Spotify. I know a lot of people want Spotify to support the Chromecast, and that is coming if it has not already pushed the update just recently. But yeah, you can kind of see all the new stuff, like what's new on the top uh, downloads or the top uh, rentals on Google Play. When it comes to movies and your like I said your current apps that do support the Chromecast YouTube and then if we go up here to devices we can see this kind of looks familiar like the original Chromecast app and the Git apps so as you can see Spotify here is listed as an application now that will work with the Chromecast So as we as just said, Spotify is there, and then Rhapsody, Digital Music, Other Music Lovers, Applications, The Popular Games, The Apps, Other Applications and Video Streaming Services, Their TV Shows. So the Chromecast app, as you can see, is way, way, way better, much more improved. And like it says here in the search bar now that you see up here at the top, you get a good focus search for movies and shows so say we want to search for let's just say Gotham no, let's fix that and I 
as you can see, Gotham pops up. Videos that are available. Uh, it looks like mainly just a tr teaser trailer. We go to what's on. If we try the same thing. No, it just shows us the teaser. I was hoping it would show us what other a list of the shows and where you can watch it from. Let's try another show. There we go. So Daredevil. And you can see it shows you the TV shows. You can subscribe to it. Uh, Daredevil, I think that's the movie. Videos, anything that's related to it from YouTube. All right here that you can pull up right on the Chromecast app. And there will be updates from all the all the streaming services to support Chromecast and all these new features will be baked into their APIs. So be ready to see a Netflix update, um, Hulu update, Pandora, all of them. Uh, even like Fox TV, all those. So eventually when we actually search for Gotham again in the future, it should show that we can watch it directly from the... Uh, Fox Now application or if Gotham's on Netflix it will pop up on here showing that you'll be able to watch it from Netflix as well um, it just gives you a much easier way of searching for stuff you want that you want to cast directly to your TV um, there's many many more features about the Chromecast app things that will be rolling out especially for people that are going to be running Android 6.0 aka Marshmallow there will be some new features as well for those people. Uh, the LG G4 I'm using right here will be getting Android Marshmallow and so will the HTC One M8 and M9 and any other newer devices that are flagship devices from the last year into this year all should be getting uh, Android Marshmallow. And like I said, there's also a new Chromecast device, two devices if I can pull those up to show you what am I looking for here as you can see I have the Google store here loaded up it shows the new Nexus 5X and 6P if we go down here to Chromecast and Chromecast audio these are the new Chromecast devices that have just been released just the other day and we are looking at the new Chromecast in three different colors with a embedded HDMI cable. And then the Chromecast Audio, which allows you to turn any old pair of speakers that you have into smart speakers via that this Chromecast Audio is connected to your uh, local network, your home network in your house. But with these new Chromecast devices, they're still the original $35 and you will have a uh, much shorter loading latency with these. Um, all the apps will start preloading right on the phone and the Chromecast will start sending signal and showing everything before uh, you can blink your eye. But uh, anyway, that was a quick look at the new Chromecast app compared to the old. This is RF Mike. If you guys like the video, please remember to leave a thumbs up, uh, so hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one.